And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Nightfall. Gonna bring back this deck because I haven't played Nocturne in a little while. And so I want to play Nocturne. It is pretty difficult to play Nocturne in other regions that are not Targon because half of the Nightfall cards are split between Nocturne and not sorry, sorry, not <laughs> half of the Nightfall cards are split between Shadow Isles and Targon. There we go, Targon, not no not Nocturne. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. Uh, but anyway, so we're gonna play some uh, play some Shadow Isles, Targon, play some Nightfall Aggro, get Diana and um, Nocturne together. Our list is quite a bit different from the previous time that we played this. We played this like on day one, had more Invoke. I kind of feel like the invoke is too slow. Like, uh, we're getting... I don't know why I didn't play Unspeakable Horror before, but we're definitely playing that one now. We're playing Solari Soldier in here also to give us another card that's easy to play first. We can play this um, and then play our other Nightfall card, so a good Nightfall Enabler. Get a second Cygnus at the top end. Um, Hush was a card that I wasn't playing very much in my opening deck list that, you know, is just kind of turned into being too good, so we're playing one of those. And playing one at Frenzied Skitter. I'm just not playing the Lunari Priestess. Um, I think it's kind of a little too slow and everything for our deck. So we're going to get rid of uh, that Lunari Priestess. All right, but anyway, let's play some Nocturne Nightfall. We'll go try this one out over in Ranked like we always do. And then we're going to have three new decks after this one. Taric Braum, where we're, we're going to be using Starlet Seer and a bunch of gems. Um and everything. That one should be pretty sweet. I'm looking forward to that. And then Fiora Dragons. Play a bunch of the dragons, including Screeching Dragon, the new 5-mana Demacia Dragon, which I realized that I hadn't played yet. Which is weird. So, um, you know, I definitely like Demacia stuff and dragons, so I don't know why I haven't played that, so we're gonna do that. Hello. Uh, Skitter is getting mulliganed. We don't have any Nightfall Enabler for this stuff yet, but these are all pretty good cards. There we go. Eyes up here, or I'll cut them out. Wow, I'll cutting quick. them out. Ours is the one true light. So my plan is to go Onlooker. I know we, we could do Unspeakable Horror, I suppose. We'll kind of see what they have. Um, get bloody, get paid. Higher Gun, that's pretty good against Solari Soldier here. That's really good how the Soldier will turn into being 2 power. Wow, okay. Ooh, got some fighting ya. Guess they don't want to take seven. So then, like this next turn, I can have Stalking Shadows, and then play one of these two cards with Nightfall, either the Shade Stalker or the Unspeakable Horror. The Shade Stalker still doesn't block this thing. This thing is pretty fearsome. Whoa, Moonlight with the resub. Thank you, Moonlight. We have gotten our third sub of the day. Make it rain. No, don't make it rain. Uh, let's see. Okay, sorry. Alright, so I don't think I need to kill the Prowling Cutthroat, because they, they already dealt damage to me this turn. So I think normally we'd be trying to keep them... Um... Darkness hides in my path. Uh, keep them from dealing damage. For leveling up Gangplank Sejuani, they already have. So I don't feel like I need to cast this thing right now. Now, this is a little awkward of what to do from here. We don't have any more Nightfall Enablers right now. There we go. Now we do. Let's... So let's see. I could go Fading Memories Nocturne. Or could just play like a 3-3 Crescent Guardian this turn, and next turn have like Fading Memories, Nocturne, and Unspeakable Horror. I guess we don't really need Nocturne the following turn. 
Um, yeah, that's what I'd co I would copy the cutthroat. Definitely. And I guess, I guess let's do that. So copying the cutthroat because the cutthroat is the card that's cheaper and easier to play. Hey there. Don't mind the night. So playing the Crescent Guardian to maybe block Gangplank with the Crescent Guardian and Pale Cascade. Hey Carter, what's up, what's up? Thoughts on Leona Karma? Um, yeah, we're going to try that deck later on. You know, it's, it's on our schedule. I have not tried it at all yet. This will be my first time playing it. So I'm not sure exactly what, you know, what that deck's going to really look like. I don't know why their Prowling Cutthroat is not attacking. That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. It does have Fearsome. Another Cygnus. Down with the Cygnus. All right, so we'll go Cutthroat. I'm the last thing you'll see. Now I can go Crescent Guardian and have Pale Cascade available. This attack should level up Nocturne, which means that they will only be able to block with Gangplank. Awesome, Cordag, you've been playing Illusion Overwhelm. Nice. I'll save that, check that out later. Well, that's like the worst card to see. Yeah, that's like the worst card to see. How do I want to do this? I can. So it's it's either challenge here. So I'm down to four. We're at three out of five. Or challenge here. And trade. I think it's probably best to trade. Cause like I don't know, there's not there's not that much difference in like this five, you know, like the four damage hitting them with this Crescent Guardian or not, whenever we have these Cygnus Moonstalkers that they can kill from more damage, but I think that Gangplank, both Gangplank and Sejuani are super, um, are super scary, and so getting either one of them out of here is good. It's like, like them being at eight, or them, like they would be at, uh, four, right? It's the difference of four health. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think. Um, I am going to play a kill. We are going to just play a Pale Cascade, aren't we? Just to play. Should do two damage draw card because I want to draw a card. Yeah.
Because basically I want to draw a card and find a, a better Nightfall enabler than that thing is. Oh, I guess, I mean, so if I would have done that, then we'd be putting them down to two. And then Doom Beast would kill them. Okay, okay. Alright, so I guess I should have done the, the damage to them. Yeah. I guess I'd, I kind of forgot about Doom Beast in hand, to be honest. Kind of forgot about Doom Beast. I mean, I think I'm fine. I don't think they can do 18 damage to me. It's it's going to be, do they have, you know, they're going to be able to frostbite me. It's going to kind of be the, and it looks like the answer is yes, as far as can they frostbite me. Are we getting? F oh right, because that thing's hitting me, and we're taking, and then it's gonna die. Alright, so hoping they don't have, like, warning shot. Well, that's a really good sign. No warning shot. I mean, either one of these win if they don't have Warning Shot or, you know, something like that. I don't know if there's one that's better to play than the other. Probably not. Cygnus, how I missed your light. Thank the mother you're all right. What have you learned? Hopefully. Awesome. No warning shot. Okay, so I did mess up the turn before. I should have challenged the with the overwhelm over the, the powder keg, dealt the four damage. Um yeah, that almost cost me that. For sure, so. Lesson learned there. I, I just kind of forgot about the 3-2 the drain in hand. <clears throat> Diana Mirror, but this time against Draven. Double Stalking Shadows. That card's amazing. We're a little slow to set up unless I want to just throw down these things without the Nightfall. Never mind. We were peaceful. 
Really nice person. Hello. They forced us to choose death or the flame. You leave me no recourse. <clears throat> Another good card. Man, our deck's just filled with good cards. Their sense travels in the night air. Sequencing is not necessarily easy with this deck, though. I think I'd actually just pass this turn no and play hiding. nothing. I will be heard. That would be my guess. It's either that or just play this, you know, dust... Dust and Shade Stalker. Um, I think I'm just going to play nothing and go Stalking Shadows this turn. And just see what's up. Attack for 12. On turn three. That's not bad. Next turn with four mana, we can go Dust, Shade Stalker, and one of these two. So fearsome. We will resist. All right. Will be free. Still not bad. All right, so we're up a card. We got a champion in play. I do not yet. I don't think I'm supposed to play Nocturne. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to play Nocturne for like the lethal attack the next turn. When will this bloody conflict end? All things in cycles. Someday we will be one. All right, so we hit him for seven. No one is safe. Don't turn around. The fear grows. So I'm going to just attack for seven. Let's see if they play a spell. Or not. I mean, the pill. So, I could go pill cascade to make a nine and then unspeakable horror kill them, but I want to see if they play something where then I pill cascade afterwards. Haha. Oh, I guess it's ten. I forgot about the, the nocturne level up being an extra one point of damage. I forgot about that thing going six. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, th I was thinking we were going to need Pill Cascade and Unspeakable Horror, but we only needed uh, just the Pill Cascade. Horror fly. Okay. Back to Nocturne Nightfall. Death Lotus, that would have been bad. 
Oh man, imagine yeah, imagine they had Death Lotus whenever we had the three four one fearsomes attacking. That would have been bad. <clears throat> uh, good question, Smash Tag. I don't know. Maybe not. Bring you know, question was bring back the the top versus chat di days like I, I did with MTG. I would play against chat like one day a month. Do that all day. Um, not right now. I don't. I don't think we have like really enough like viewers and people and stuff. Smash tag for that for doing that for an all day thing. Uh, this hand pretty good. These cards pretty good at least. Could use one of our nightfall enablers. Or not. Ugh. Question all that you are told. So I guess the only difference with Diana is just giving me the challenger this round. We don't really need Diana to have challenger this round. But Diana can attack through Petty Officer. I cannot turn back. Alright, just gonna drain while we have our nightfall enabled. Even though it is just creating another Nightfall of card. You think I should have mulliganed all the cards in my hand because I didn't have a single enabler? I have oh I don't have the I don't have the drained one anymore. Unseen, Just have pale cascades. Conceals you from our foes. Cloaked in silver light. Glad not another one. Except for the one so far. So if I go, if I go Solari Soldier Nocturne, then I do not have Pale Cascade up, but I could go Dust and then Nocturne and still have Pale Cascade available. Of course, I do want to, and it's like the other good part about this is, you know, like we, we level up this um, Diana, so like Twisted Fate Red card isn't killing Diana as well. Um, yeah, you know, like if I go Solari Soldier, then they can go Twisted Fate Red card and kill these. So besides just having Pale Cascade up, that's the other good thing about that. Not going to quite level up Nocturne, even if we attack with all of these. Truth. 
That's a good card for them. Guess it's worth it to get rid of. I mean, this again, twisted. You know, if they deal twisted fate, this could be a problem. But that that petty officer. I mean, that's a great card. It's a three-two. Um, you know, if I don't, if I don't kill it, it's still just going to be a three-two. Bill Cascade's not drawing a card right now. Who says I don't share? And so I'm not going to use it with it not drawing a card. I kind of want to protect Diana anyway. Could actually be a good matchup where we need the invoke. This could. When will this bloody conflict end? Hey, dragon. In cycles. Someday we will be one. Seven mana. Could see this being a matchup where we need this invoke. Later game, maybe the invoke can find us removal for, you know, Leviathan, Swain, stuff like that. Find us more stuff, even through Riptide Rex. Get your work, burn if you don't. <laughs> the 4-3? Maybe I should have just done the Shadow Fiend because it is because it's the only thing that can block right now. Follow the horizon. Speak truth. I probably should have just done the Shadow Fiend and then just challenge like the Shadow Fiend over here. Try attack with all this damage. The the thing is, I, will I just wasn't I wasn't confident in like Diana um, staying alive.
Wow, okay, I'll take that. I will take that thing dying and not Diana dying. I don't want my trickster to die, but I guess I guess it's gonna be my trickster dying. As far as blocking uh Swain is concerned. Because I think that fearsome skitter is probably important to play next turn. Uh, especially when paired with the nocturne. I know, right? That's like the first time I've seen the 4-3 ephemeral being the best possible outcome. Right? I guess I could have Diana block. Instead of Trickster. It's more like, I mean, with only one health. Yeah, let's just keep the elusive that's harder to kill than the one health unit. Oh, I forgot about that thing being ephemeral. Well, then now I wish I would have just played Doom Beast. Gotta go with the flow. Chosen of the moon, we open our hearts to her gentle light. All right, GGs. Drawing Diana, decided to go with that and Doom Beast instead of Cygnus. Oh, yes. Alright, Nocturne Nightfall 3 and 0. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, Frenzied Skitter. I mean, it was, it was definitely leveled up Nocturne that was the better card, but, you know, Frenzied Skitter did some work. Yeah, Nocturne plus Skitter. That is pretty silly. Ooh, all in Fiora. This could honestly be a difficult deck to defeat. I definitely love it. Unspeakable Horror. <clears throat> um, drain one, get rid try to get rid of barriers and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. We don't have any Nightfall enablers, though. Shade Stalker not, does not pair well against Fiora. Nocturne pairs just fine against Fiora. We are doing great at drawing Cygnus. Yeah, with the Cygnus. Hmm. <laughs> Look at our draggling. Wow, 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 wow. Our draggling's head bopping. Rocking out. Uh, basically, this you know, it's good to play this now, but then also it, it uses my Nightfall card. So it's like, why am I playing this when it uses my Nightfall card? Alright, well, if we drag even farther, let's see. Always two steps ahead. Whoa, 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 where is it? Whoa. <laughs> Our draglings. Oh, that's awesome. Um.
All right, so I want to turn. I want to have knock turn enabled to give Fiora vulnerable. But I also don't really want to play any of these spells right now. That's kind of awkward. Nothing to hold me back. Forgive me. Yeah, the draw might be important. Okay, well now unspeakable horror. I'd say the draw might be important, but then also just like the pump spells and that kind of stuff could be important. Eight mana. Cygnus. How are you not at the Oh, the Solari Soldier is not... Mm. This thing's not a Nightfall. I was kind of doing this on that being a Nightfall. Oh, this doesn't... This didn't work. Oh, this didn't work. I hate how this this timing thing goes down while you are um Devotion to button. Gosh, I just can't attack. For the homestead. Try me. I hate how this timing goes down while you are um uh like while the level up animation's going and the timing just starts going down I don't like it We just can't attack and let that Fiora get closer to leveling up no even farther like we have to force them to have single combat and concerted strike and cards like that and hope they don't have those but we got to force them to have those Yeah, I mean, I I didn't sequence very well. I realized that I made um, I did make some mistakes there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now, uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, Cygnus lethal. Hmm. 
Doesn't really matter what we give Elusive to. Really doesn't. Basically, I don't want to do the Nocturne, because if, if they can't kill the Nocturne, we're probably going to kill them anyway. If they don't kill Nocturne. Nothing escapes my life. Forgive me. What am I doing? Why do I keep on thinking I'm going to level up Nocturne? And, and I'm just not. Why do I always think that? These things don't have Nightfall. How do I keep messing up? Well, no reason to attack with that thing. <laughs> okay, well, that was just dumb. All right, I... I will admit that's one of the worst played games I've ever had in my life. That was very bad. That almost makes me want to just like delete that game and <laughs> try again, but I don't do that. Just ever everything. That was that was one of the worst played games of my life. I I will fair, fairly admit that. Okay, well, let's let's play better. That's all we can do. <laughs> been there yeah i mean that, that yeah that was i'm not too proud to say that i play everything perfect um not too proud for that do i just keep all these solari soldiers maybe i do i can just keep them all and just have them each turn have a solari soldier to go along with uh, my nightfall cards punish transgressions Yeah, there's there's no reason to point out like one play that I did wrong the the previous game, because it was about uh, five turns in a row of the wrong play, and I I admit it. I mean I I understand I'm not perfect. I don't want to make anybody think that I am. So now, are we going Diana or Shadestalker? Diana doesn't kill Starlet Seer. Which I don't like. So I think I go Shadestalker. And then on their turn, I'll use the Stalking Shadows plus whatever. Invisible to the ignorant. Follow the horizon. And then when it's back on my turn, we'll use the Solari Soldier again on my turn plus whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I outplayed myself there that last game. My United States of whatever. Doom Beast. Doom Beast looks pretty good. Stygian Onlooker looks pretty good. Except for against Avalanche. Then Onlooker wouldn't look so good. I'll take Doom Beast. They're gonna go Avalanche. Avalanche would definitely be the reason to not play out more things. I mean, I guess this thing doesn't die to Avalanche. It wouldn't play it out. Okay. 
Uh, I think our avalanche question is answered. Uh, the answer is no. We will not have avalanche. Embrace the night. Cloaked in silver tribes of blind. Oh, that thing's going to a three three. Ugh. I should have pumped up something else. Because I was I was planning on just challenging the Starless here. I could have just pumped up something else. Whatever else they block. Or like whatever they don't block. Could have dealt another two damage. You know, like they block this thing. I put plus two over here. <clears throat> so we'll see if if that two damage should be at eight. Which could be a very important two damage with all these doom beasts and, and everything. Forgot about her level up, putting her up to three. I was thinking I needed to pale the Diana to kill the Starless here, which I wanted to kill Starless here. My patience wanes. Most likely going to be having fading memories on Doom Beast. Most likely. Say my opponent's thinking of passing. Well, if they do, I'm attacking. I make shepherding look easy. Yuck! 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 <clears throat> yuck, yuck, yuck. Come, a new phase awaits. What's up, Herman? So thanks for the great videos and streams. Well, you are welcome. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Two months now. That's great. Thank you very much. So the Doom Beasts are both ephemeral. So I want to open attack. And so I don't really want to, you know, so then the Doom Beasts... Because I don't really want them to play, like, their Ice Pillar first and all that kind of stuff before I attack. Uh Gosh, can I I mean I can I can make Diana a seven three. Do you think that will work? Y'all are saying don't trade? Uh, we won't see what we get until damage happens. It's just, it's, <clears throat> I think it's a little too risky that, that they have, um, that they have, you know, like a, a troll chant, elixir of iron, that kind of stuff. I think that's maybe a little too risky. Tougher than a troll. Another path, another problem. Fly away while you can.
Okay, so I should have played that drain card when I did. Because I can only play one Doom Beast. I mean, how do how do I double? I can't double Doom Beast. Unfortunately. They're about to gain three life. At the round start. Hmm. That's a combo right there. That's a combo. Bow to your king. This is going to be fun. Depends on your definition of fun. Yeah, that's true. We don't really need the Nocturne Nightfall effect, so we can just get this in play. Next turn, we'll have nine mana, so like we don't get to play all of these. Dusk Rider. Like, this thing can hit really hard. But right now, we're only looking at being able to play two of these. Of course, we only have one spot. Looks like we are going to need to hit very hard. Why give the, that thing overwhelm regeneration? I'll protect you. I kind of need to play more units than what I have. So I don't think I can actually play this Dusk Rider. I think it costs too much mana. And I also think I actually need like the Nightfall, create a random Nightfall card that I get to play. I think that that's more important than Drain 2, creating the random card. So they'll have you will never be free, dragon. Your base tricks are wasted on me. 
So I'll have potentially four, maybe three blockers. Doesn't might as well play this first because we can still only play one of these two cards. Okay, so I can play Doom Beast and Duskbringer. Cool. And then I have three blockers. I'm one short? Oh, I'm one damage short. Mm, one damage short. I don't know if I have any unspeakable horrors left. I know we've played at least two, but maybe we've played three. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Oh, that's right. They gained three at the beginning of the, the round start as well. Ugh. I feel like I should have won this game. I feel like I should have won this game. Should have blocked Frenzy Skitter, not the femoral. Stand back. Oh yeah, I definitely should have won this game because I missed the two damage on the pill cascade. Remember I how I missed the the two damage on the pill cascade? On the Diana, and we I talked about that of like hopefully that doesn't doesn't affect us too much. That seems greedy. Ugh. Yeah, so definitely should have won this game. Um, yeah. All right. Um, this is a difficult deck to play. This is a really difficult deck to sequence with all of the, like, how to play, like, the Nightfall cards and everything. That's what I really learned throughout playing these games. This deck is really difficult to play. Hey, Dragon. Yeah, this is one that you definitely need to, like... I was making a lot of mistakes in these games. Many more mistakes than normal. And... Um, but this is the kind of deck that I think, you know, just this is the kind of deck you need to play a lot. So if you play this deck, make a lot of mistakes, maybe don't do so well. Don't don't let it discourage you. That's okay. Keep keep playing it. Keep playing it. This is a deck I'm gonna play more. Um I liked this deck, and I think there's a lot of power here. There's so many good one and two mana cards everywhere. And the the cheaper your curve is, the more difficult it is to sequence also. Um, because that just gives you more options. When you have like an expensive curve, it's like kind of like your trundle a really in soul deck it's a lot easier to play those decks because you're like okay well i just have like one two mana card i'm gonna play it on turn two i just have one three mana card you know now it's turn six i'll play my six mana card it's turn seven i'll play my seven mana card and so on you know obviously it's a generalization but but that's what i'm saying generally speaking it's a lot more difficult to sequence a deck with lots of low curve things and then especially when you have these kind of bonuses um, also that you have to be taking into effect of uh, you don't you can't always just play your two mana card on turn two you maybe have to wait till turn three and play something first and then your two mana card this is a this was a, a challenging deck for sure to um to sequence and i i think that both of my lot because basically we went three and two and both of my losses i think it could have easily been wins by easily i mean not easily but they could have been wins and um, maybe should have been wins. 
So I think this was, so that's what I'm saying is I think there's a lot of potential here because I think this very easily could have been a 5-0. Why, why do I keep saying easily? The game's not easy. <laughs> but it absolutely could have been a 5-0. And uh, I think that there's a lot of good stuff. So Lari Soldier was great. This was a great addition to the deck. Give us that one mana card that was a very impactful threat. Um, yeah, and so yeah, it's a very complex deck. Um, you could play Atrocity instead of the Hush, absolutely. Uh, if you want a little bit more reach, uh, you know, saying Atrocity really helps the deck. That that could go instead of the Hush. I was impressed with the Skitter. I liked having that card. It's also a card that you get to play to start, you know, to start the turn. That's not a Nightfall card. Not as impressed with Cygnus, and yeah, so maybe Cygnus, maybe you could just play one Cygnus, one atroc Atrocity. Sorry. That's also another option is one Cygnus, one Atrocity. Uh, you know, some, some some things you can do there with the top end. Could just play a second Skitter, one Cygnus. That's also a possibility as well. And then maybe Atrocity instead of the Hush. Um, yeah, that's those um, the Hush and the Cygnus are probably like where you can you can deviate more. But all these three ofs, like the fading memory is kind of necessary to turn on your nightfall. And so all these three ofs, I think you want to just keep. And so like these ones and twos, these are your your slots that you can play with and find some different things. <laughs> Nocturne's too big brain for you. Yeah, it's something something got to keep playing and keep getting used to and everything. Um, we've had like four months of playing the older cards now. I mean, even four months since Rise, rising tides and you know we've gotten really used to the play patterns and and everything for those with these new cards uh still got to to keep playing them and, and trying out but i i do think that this can be a really powerful deck it it felt really powerful and so i think this can be be a good one um okay feels creative said I, I agree with everything you said i had like around a 40 percent win rate until i really got the hang of it and now i have about an 80 percent win rate in the last 10 20 games now cool 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 um <laughs> yeah i said the word easily too much all right that's nocturne nightfall those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there uh you know let me know in the comments about the stuff that i was talking about there hopefully uh that makes sense but i really appreciate y'all watching thank you so much and i will see you for the next video